Hey there everybody, Phil here for AndroidCentral.com. So as you have well heard by now, uh, Google Chrome is now released for Android, the very same Chrome browser that you get on your desktop. I'm going to give you a quick walkthrough here, but you're definitely going to want to play with this as soon as you can, because it really is pretty excellent, even though it is only in beta. Uh, quick note, it is only available on an ice cream sandwich device. Not surprising, but a little disappointing, but hopefully we'll get ICS on more devices soon. So fire it up, and here we are in actually the tab screen. And I want to show you the first, because this is really where some of the power comes in of Chrome. Some of these features aren't new, necessarily. Uh, the one that everybody's kind of talking about is the ability to sync tabs between different devices. So you see here A200, that's the uh, Acer A200 tablet. There's my laptop, and I have access to all of the tabs that I have open right now. So if I wanted to bring up Android Central, which is open on the tablet, I just tap it and do so. Pretty easy. Uh, really, I mean, tabs are where it's at with Chrome, right? So here you go. Quick way to uh, flip through the tabs. And you can actually see if you can tilt the phone. It will tilt through the tabs a little bit as well and let you open them that way. Kind of cool. Not all that useful. I think it's a little quicker just to do this. But so be it. A uh, little Easter egg I know people have been showing today. So yes, if you keep doing that, it'll flip. Cool, I guess. All right, so that is the tabs, and if you push it again, you get out of the tab menu, and you can hit that button to open a new tab. Um, so you have new tabs, new incognito tabs. So just like on the desktop, you can browse incognito, where it won't save uh, some of the things, you know, cookies and stuff like that, as you're going along. Or you can close all tabs if you want, and just get rid of everything. Quick run through the settings. So you'll see I am signed in. You can change your uh, current search engine, Google, Yahoo, or Bing. Interesting. Wonder if we'll uh, be able to add more to that. Bandwidth management. So this is an interesting little thing. You can have it preload web pages, always only on Wi-Fi or never. I'm going to leave it only on Wi-Fi. Autofill forms, save passwords, clear browsing data, privacy content settings. See content settings, except cookies location. JavaScript pop-ups, font size, and website settings. You can change the settings for individual websites. That's nice. We have some developer tools. So this is in beta, and obviously it's important for devs to be able to figure stuff out. So you can turn all that on there. Feedback and about Chrome. So not a whole lot in the way of settings, but really, really easy to do. Now something I want to show you, if I can get back to it here, is when you go to the Google web page, see this big giant pop up. Google wants to track your physical location. Deny, allow. Really, really like the way they did that. There's no way you can miss that. There's no way you can complain later that you didn't see it. Well, I mean, maybe you can complain, but you shouldn't because that's uh, pretty obvious. So I'm going to hit allow, and it should. Northeast Pensacola, Florida. That's me. So cool. That's a nice way that they did that. I like that a lot. Otherwise, if it's a browser, it's fast. I like it. Scrolling is pretty smooth. Let's bring up AndroidCentral.com. We're on Wi-Fi, so it's going to load fast, which is nice. There are the uh, Jersey Shore kids. Now, one thing they're doing on Chrome here that I like a lot is actually with the text rendering. So, especially for sites where you're zoomed out, uh, the sizing has been done really well. So that you don't get you know tiny little text and big pictures and uh, you know absolutely better than the uh, stock browser on Android and even Ice Cream Sandwich. Zooming in is as simple as tapping or not. Pinch to zoom, very very smooth. Look at that. I don't know why I'm trying to tilt and turn, but look how smooth that is. Like it a lot. One thing that's missing, of course, is Adobe Flash support. Disappointing, but not the end of the world, right? Or maybe it is. Up to you. So let's take a quick look at uh, Chrome on a tablet, shall we? Okay, and here is Chrome on the Acer A200 tablet. So you see a little uh, flicker thanks to the display. But Chrome itself is just, it looks like the desktop browser. Uh, you lose some of the cool tab effects that you get on the phone. And everything for the menu has been tucked up here into the action bar menu where it should be, the overflow menu. Uh, but, you know, tabbing is just a matter of of hitting the tab. I mean, it looks exactly like Chrome on the desktop. Not a whole lot more to say about that. Again, scrolling nice and smooth. You can zoom out, you can zoom in. And you see it fits exactly to the width of the website, which is very nicely done. I kind of like, I kind of wish I could zoom out and, and get more of a bird's eye view, but as far as like usefulness, you know, that's a design thing. Uh, but as far as like actually reading the page, 
very, very simple to do on the desktop. So there you go, a very quick look at the Chrome browser on Android. Try this as soon as you can. This is gonna be the future of browsing for Android, so you're gonna have to get used to it one way or the other. See ya.